morning guys like nothing makes it more clear how habitual my life is than literally turning on the camera at the exact same time every day wearing pretty much the exact same thing coming to you with the exact same message <laughs> good morning i've been up since five editing videos i'm about to work out so now i need a zip fist like it's the same thing every day which i'm not complaining about i'm just like geez louise but hey if it ain't broke don't fix it okay but if it is broke fix it okay all right today i don't care what i draw i'm drinking it and today we have bam oh grape it's grape i'm not complaining i don't hate grape anymore newsflash if you haven't been here in a while i used to hate grape not so much anymore see your taste can change okay give it some time oh yeah these safety seals have just been coming off in one complete piece lately and it is a game changer all right guys before we shake it out there we've got to shake it in here so let's do it in three two one <laughs> to positivity to reaching your goals to just having a positive outlook on life even if things aren't going the way you want them to right now just knowing that it will be better and that you can make it better and it just takes a day at a time. Woo, I feel good today. I feel good today. Oh, mm, it's, I don't hate it. What happened? I don't hate it. Milton, sit. You have to sit. <laughs> Milton, good boy, good boy, good boy, tooty wooty. Okay, guys. So on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, I go into the shop, and basically, I work my job from there. That way I'm kind of doing double duty. I work my software job, but then also I answer the phones, I answer people's questions, I help keep the shop running however it needs to be run. But every day I get in the car in the morning, it is just a reminder of how much I hate morning talk radio. Like I hate it. Just play the music. I don't care about your little prank calls or your challenges or the funny skits that you're supposed to be doing. Like shut up and play music like I'd rather listen to commercials at this point but I hate radio shows hashtag in rant okay guys I made it to work I am in my office which is also the supply closet <laughs> so our whole salon is up that way let me know in the comments down below do you want a salon tour I feel like I've walked you guys through it enough or maybe I haven't I don't know either way the salon is that way I work here with my work computers and then right there is the salon computer that way like I'm doing double duty and notice this chair rolls <laughs> so in case I need to scoot from one place to another uh, so this is my favorite time of the day no one is here yet usually our service providers don't start till around 10 or 11 lucky them <laughs> so I get here early it's just me by myself. I can do some work before the phone calls start rolling in, things like that. So I just sit here and work and Amber will probably be here in a few minutes to annoy me. So something to look forward to. <laughs> okay, that's just gonna have to be what it is. It is cold. My space heater is back in that room. I should definitely have moved it out here uh, for the live, but I have not turned on the heat in the shop. When I walked in the shop, it was 64 degrees and i did not turn on the heat the the service providers can turn on the heat when they get here okay hashtag bills you know i'm not doing it i can suffer are we live no okay no, oh we're recording okay like i mean but we're recording though like guys don't like albert einstein or one <laughs> the dimensions on this pro baby are all shades Ronald of mcdonald okay so we're recording yes we're not live okay so welcome today have you already welcomed them amber it's it's 3 30. <laughs> Yes. Welcome to I've day been up since five o'clock. Five of four. Yeah. Of vlogmas. Good job, you guys. I'm having Jello. I'm fasting today, but I'm having Jello. I mean, she's fasting today, but she's having Jello. So how? I mean, like, I'm sorry. Mm. I haven't been on your lives, which means I haven't been watching your lives for like three to five days now. 
Where are we with our weight? We? Where are we with our weight? Catch me up on where we are. I mean, huh? My weight had shot up from Friendsgiving, which it was okay. Yeah. But Sunday was like last hurrah day. It was just like, oh, I'm going back on plan tomorrow. I know, last hurrah That's day. I can understand only because I may or may not have spent between three and five hundred dollars on Black Friday and Cyber Monday stuff. Guys, it was like my last hurrah. Like <laughs> things hadn't been on sale. Like I hadn't been able to, I haven't purchased anything. And then the disc, 40 to 60% off. I mean, so I understand. With we, whose money? Exactly, <laughs> guys. <laughs> I don't understand. At least y'all understand where I get the food from. Like where does this money come from? Hence the reason I'm going to be eating jello for breakfast lunch and dinner <laughs> because but i'll be looking cute doing it ah. can i tell you that mom called me and no. she said whenever you're on your live or whenever you're on my lives and you're like ah ah like it cracks her up <laughs> hey i'm gonna be cute i ain't even gonna say the word broke i rebuke broke i'm gonna be Amen. cute and paid you already are cute and paid hello amber i had the best visualization ever when i walked in here you know i walked tell in, me i walked in here not about to set this laptop, my work laptop down. I was setting down like my whack top. First of all, I called it a whack top, which whoa, brilliant, brilliant. My eyes are closed, I'm still visualizing. Okay, I can run my business out of my other business, you know? And I was just like, imagine Wipe what me life, down. I know, imagine what life that is. So no, I mean, no, I'm, I'm living it. I'm currently existing in it right this second. In my, so. in, in my space that I'll no longer be needing. I mean, in the name of Jesus. Okay, guys, unzip your shirt. Like, this happened. Oh my God, like, I, meant literally. To, I meant to tell. Huh? Again? Huh? <laughs> because my whole thing is, how? Like, I, she walked in, she walked in, and I was, and are, are both of our jackets blue? Like, oh, like to, sometimes the twin vibes be, like, vibes. Like, yeah, be easy. Sca <laughs> scared. Vibes. But she walked in, I was just like, oh. <gasps> And I've been wearing all types of other keto swag, uh, I, wax swag. Mine's all in the laundry. Literally why I had to bust out of Old Faithful. Me too. I was just, Mine was wow. in the laundry. I had to bust out Old Faithful. I feel like we were going to talk about, oh, my weight. Yeah. So Monday, bottom line is. Monday's weight was really bad. It was like 190.8. That's how much eating I had done. But today I weighed myself and I was 182.6. Ooh, So wee. just even between the fasting and doing well, like, so that means I am less I'm less than four pounds above my Thanksgiving day exactly, weight. Exactly, so, and we're less than a week away I know, mean, from it, you know. So it's just like, just be consistent, just get back on it. You know what you, I was saying is like that means like this is where my body wants to go. You know, it wasn't holding on to it. You know, it's like no, all that nonsense is gone. Let's get you back where you belong, sis. And that's where I'm going. I was supposed to eat this while I was watching Keto Connect's YouTube video, but I had already eaten it, so now I'm just gonna watch their YouTube video. Oh my god. Not eat anything. You're so. ridiculous. Great. There you go. Okay, guys, I am just now getting home from the shop. Like, if I were a good person, I would make some t shirts tonight, but what I really wanna do is just eat my pickles and play Candy Crush for a little bit. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna reassess in like an hour or so. <laughs> But I'm just gonna relax, enjoy my pickles, and I'll be back. Whew. Okay guys, as suspected, I did not start any shirts. Like, your shirts are coming this weekend, okay? Let's just, let's just call it that, you know? This is how I end up going through my day feeling like a slacker. It's like, I know that I do a lot during the day, but there's just always so much to do, and so it always feels like I'm leaving something undone. But I'm working really hard to, like, not feel that way because I know that I am a productive person, but, you know, there's always a lot to do. But on nights like tonight where I am home and I don't have anything to do, I do like to make it a point to get in bed early. But before I do that, I got some cues to A. Dyron says, number, it's a two prong question and I'm gonna go ahead and knock out prong number two right now. <laughs> Are we gonna get any hashtag bars this vlogmas? So Dyron's trying to be cute and asking me if I'm gonna attempt some freestyle raps and the answer to that is no. <laughs> I've got to be out of my element to attempt to freestyle rap. It makes me the most uncomfortable, like freestyling and improv and like things where you don't know what's coming next makes me the most uncomfortable out of anything ever in life. 
Also number one, what shows are in your TV watching rotation currently? I've recently binge watched over the holiday. I've caught up on a million little things. I really like, you know, ABC's answer to NBC's This Is Us. It's a really nice ensemble drama and has just the perfect amount of messiness in it. Like I am all the way caught up on that. I love The Masked Singer. Everyone comment down below. If you watch The Masked Singer of the people still left, who do you think is who? Everybody knew who the flower was. Come on now. I'm all the way caught up on Grey's Anatomy. I'm all the way caught up on The Rookie. I really do like that show too. I'm caught up on God Friend of Me, like I said, guilty pleasure. I cannot speak to like the actual integrity of the story of that show, but it's feel good TV. And then these days I mostly just watch football. Recently Keto Connect did a video discussing is dirty keto better than no keto or the standard American diet? I'm interested in hearing your thoughts. I watched that video. You know, I love Matt and Mega. Like I just, I'm so glad for all their success and they're so interesting and entertaining, but even more importantly, authentic. They are themselves and they give zero Fs about what you have to say about it. Like I really appreciate how they're not afraid to take like the unpopular stance and just really be themselves. I did watch that video and I will say that I agree with the stance that they took as in dirty keto in my opinion is better than the standard American diet, but there are other diets that you could follow such as Whole30 or Paleo or something like that, that would be better than all of the processed foods that come along with dirty keto. A donut, you know, part of the standard American diet is not the same as fruits and vegetables or honey or things like that. And I'm gonna say, given that choice, you should eat like a Whole30 or Paleo, but given a choice between Whole30, Paleo or Keto, I'm going Keto. Okay, well that's enough for me. I am excited to get in bed at a decent time. Yeah, like 9.17. I'm gonna be lights out by 9.20. <laughs> Thanks so much for your questions. Leave some more in the comments of this video and I can answer them tomorrow. All right, wash, rinse, repeat. Go to sleep, wake up in the morning. I will see you then. Bye.